lights are finally good to go. Head over there and check it out. Seems the road is all clear. And with that, welcome to part number 14 of Need for Speed Underground 2. This is the movie Chicane, and today we're collecting all of the money and information icons in stage 3. So there's only three information icons to go, and they're all in Jackson Heights, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> but here is the very first money icon we're going to pick up, and there's a hidden circuit race right there, so let me cross this off the list. Okay, there's another one to the south of here, and there's another one at the airport. So let's go ahead and get those quickly. Yeah, I, I mean, but that's that's going to be all high schools, though, at the same time. I, I mean, I understand that it sucks, but at the same time, like, every high school is going to have that kind of stuff, dude. So there's the second icon. There's actually another one in in the city center still. There's one next to the car lot, I believe. Yep, that's the car lot. Dark Souls Remastered Jesus Christ returns to smite the sinners. <laughs> oh, that's a good title, dude. I like it. I like it. Wait, where in the car lot is it? Oh, it's across the street from the car lot. Oh, yeah, that is true. That is true, Abstract. You do have a good point there. Okay, so there's one more in the city core. Although technically it's not the city core, but it is at the same time. Is that the airport? Let's go to the airport now. You never touch the beer until you turned 18. Well, the drinking age in the United States is 21. It does sound weird. No, it doesn't really sound weird. I mean, I started drinking when I was 15, but it wasn't even like... It wasn't even like binge drinking or anything. It was just more like casual beer drinking. Like, I don't drink to get drunk, you know? Like, I drink for the enjoyment of the beer itself. Like, I like more of like specialty brews and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, smaller brewing companies, not necessarily, like, big chain beers. You put the link up? Oh, thanks, EK. Like, I like drinking, like, a beer with a steak or a burger or something, you know? Like, that's the way I look at it. Yeah, I I've been there, Abstract. I've definitely been there with people bullying me, too, because of, like, me liking cars instead of whatever else everyone else liked, you know? Like, trends are always... In my opinion, trends are always going to be stupid. You started drinking when you graduated high school celebrations and stuff? Yeah. I mean, I don't really think drinking is super bad. As long as, like, it's in, you know... As long as you're not, like, over, you know, like, binge drinking, you know what I mean? Like, if it's, like, celebrations and stuff, or, like, you know, like, every once in a while, moderation. Burgers and beers. <laughs> Little drilling face. You began to drink at the university, but let's see here. Um, I'm not even looking at the road. I'm looking at the map right now. Okay, so the rest of them are in Beacon Hills, so we got to go to Beacon Hills. Kids? Dude, kids are cruel. For sure. I, 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 we can definitely drop it, Abstract.
Yeah, that, that does suck, man. But um, if you, if you ever want to talk about it, like, you're more than welcome to PM me, dude. I'm I'm not joking around. I'm being dead serious. If you ever want to talk about that stuff, dude, you're more than welcome to PM me anytime, dude. Oh no way, really? Yeah, dude. It, it, it feels good, doesn't it, UFC? I still can't believe that, dude. Like that that made my whole week that time. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate to hear. Yeah, that's exactly the first thing I did too, um, UFC. Like, when I saw Jimmy's name, I was like, dude, this is probably some, like, Jimmy Broadband imposter. And then I looked, and it was him, and I looked at his account. I'm like, oh, shit. I mean, I got bullied, too, but, like, dude, I got bullied a lot. But, you, you see, I grew up in a really, really rough neighborhood, dude. You know, I grew up in a really n rough neighborhood, dude. And, like, the thing is, is that I remember the first time I got into a fight... I got my ass whooped by this bully, right? And then my mom, like, my mom was like, what happened? And she was literally, uh, I told her, like, oh, this kid, you know, he blah, 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 whatever he did to me at the time, I can't remember. He, like, hit me or something. And then my mom was like, no, fuck that. She didn't say fuck that, but she's like, no, you better go and, you better go back and kick his ass or else I'm going to kick your ass for getting your ass whooped. I'm like, okay. So then I kicked the kid's ass. Yo, yo, what's up, money? Yeah, word in the wire and some action bro down the stadium. Thanks. But yeah, I mean, it's not like, you know, I grew up in a violent household or anything. It's just that where my parents were from, like Guatemala, like, they grew up during the Civil War time. And they grew up just over there at the time. It was like the wild, wild freaking West where they were from. You know, and, and it's just like over there, it was pretty much like you either had to, you had to fight or die. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it wasn't that dramatic, but you, you get what I mean, right? Like when you're in a poverty filled country like that, then, you know, stuff like fighting, it's kind of like an everyday thing you had to do. And so... You know, when you grow up with parents like that, even though you're the first generation American, you know, they, they still have that toughness in them. So we have the Bayview Jackson Heights Body Shop. We have unlocked new bump, uh, body kits, which we will install later onto our 240. Yo, dude, no wonder everyone wants a piece of your hype. Nice driving out there. The sponsors want your ride on the case of the DVD Underground Speed Zone. To make them happy, you're gonna have to build your car up to three stars. Now you know what to do. I'll hit you up later. That's not a problem at all. We can get it done. And we've unlocked hey, new paints. Bag on a whack ride. So do yourself a favor and convince them that you're not borrowing your daddy's car. Upgrade your visuals. I don't I don't care, Rachel. Um Ooh. Yeah, yeah, Lucy. No, I mean I, I think part of I don't know, man, like First of all, I, I, I can totally understand where you're coming from with that. Second, it's just like, I, I think when it comes to autism, people automatically just assume the worst, you know what I mean? Organic drift racing. So, these are the last three information icons in the entire game. We're about to read them right now. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, um, I'm autistic too, but it's not even anything severe. It, it's, it was mainly just like, I had troubles communicating as a really young kid, but I had really early interventions, so nobody, nobody will even guess that I'm autistic, to be honest. And I have no problems to talk about it, because it doesn't really, it doesn't affect my everyday life at all, to be honest with you guys. And then some people were just like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, who, who fucking cares? Who gives a shit, really? Like, I, I don't I don't think about it at all every day. It's not like I sit there, I'm like, oh, I have autism. Oh, boy. And I'm like, oh, poor me, poor me. Like, nah. 
What's with rough neighborhoods, having gangs and all that these days? Can you live peacefully? No, it's much, it's much easier said than done. Greenleaf, it's much easier said than done, unfortunately, dude. It's just that when you have, when you have that mentality as a kid, like, I've never been involved in gangs, thankfully, because my parents never brought me down that route. I'm fortunate to have had them, where I grew up. You know, you know what I mean. Like, I'm, I was so fortunate to have the parents that I did growing up where I grew up because, dude, I've seen so many of my friends turn into gangbangers, into all of this stuff, dude. I've had, you know, I, I've had friends from high school, dude, who who got with the wrong crowd and just freaking, dude, were gunned down by gang members, dude. Like, stuff like that, man. You know, and it's just like, I, I'm just so fortunate to have had the parents that I had, dude. Okay, there's one cash icon here. Right, exactly. Exactly, UFC, I agree with you. Yeah, exactly, like, dude, Apollo, I definitely agree with you on that, because it's just like, I don't care if I have it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, it's Greenleaf, going back to what I was saying, it's just like, if you're... You know, if you either don't have the support of your parents when you're younger, or, you know, like, yeah, yeah, definitely, if you don't have the part, the support of your family when you're younger as a kid, and, you know, the only place that you have any, like, feeling of, like, being wanted and loved and whatnot is from other gangs, because, you know, it's so tight, they're so tight together, I guess you could say, then I could see why some people go down that route. Because they don't have anywhere else to go. Because as a kid, that's that's the most important part of your life. Because that really determines what your future is going to be like. But the point is, is that going back to what we were talking about, I'll just end the whole bullying subject here. It's just like, dude, I've been bullied a lot as a kid. I've always fought my bullies. 80% of the time, I've won. I say 80 because... It's not like I've gone into a lot of fights. And yeah, some bullies have actually kicked my ass, but never anything that would, like, bring me down, you know, mentally. I'm not saying that as in, like, a, you should fight your bullies. That should be your automatic answer to everything. But it's just, like, it depends on the person themselves and how they handle it. Oh, exactly, Lucino. I agree with you on that, too. Like, just be happy that we're living... You know, like, we're just living life in general. I'm having a good time. I'm enjoying my life. I'm enjoying the hell out of my life. That's all I could ask for. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. So, the final information icon in the entire game is right over here. right up the street and it's right over here so what does the last text message say oh hidden race information okay you were and you're still innocent so they, they saw a chance on you yeah that does definitely play a huge role into that abstract I agree it's just, you know, we, you and I both grew up in very different circumstances. Where, like, I guess you were innocent. Me, on the other hand, I wasn't so innocent where I grew up, so. I, I, I definitely get that, dude. But, yeah, that, that's really about it. I'll just go ahead and drop the conversation from here on out, just because I know it's, it's probably upsetting for you, but yeah. Oh, well, thanks for that, Lucino. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying my, um... My GT5 LP. Alright, so before we end this segment, we're going to do one thing to our cars. To our 240SX, not cars, because that's plural. Yes! Sweeper! Oh, that's hot. <laughs> oh, good lord.
Yeah, exactly, Arthur. I mean, that's the best thing you can do. Just take whatever happened and just um, move on from it. But I know it's harder for some other people to do it for sure. But yeah, there's our new body kit in R240SX. So the next thing we're going to be doing in Need for Speed Underground 2 is all the outrun races in stage 3.